As with all sports, there's a lot of yum physics in the maneuvers associated with skateboarding. I've marveled as to how my grandson Alex, a skillful skateboarder, is able to perform such feats as jumping with his skateboard to elevated surfaces. He crouches and then springs upward along with his skateboard in a jump called an ollie. Let's look at this in slow motion. While heading for the elevated surface, he exerts a downward force on the tail of the board, producing a torque about the rear wheels. This rotates the skateboard upward, raising its center of mass as it becomes airborne. But controlling the lift goes further. When airborne, Alex slides his forward foot toward the nose of the board, which produces a second torque, this time about the center of mass of the board. The resulting motion levels the board for a yum landing. So there are two torques a skilled skateboarder employs the one of slamming the tail of the board into the ground that pivots the board about the rear wheels, and when airborne, a second and smaller torque that pivots the board in the opposite rotational direction about its center of mass. When both torques are executed, two separate rotations about two axes control the board. Yum rotational physics. I want to leave you with a question. How does the upward curved surface of the tail of the skateboard enhance lifting? Until next time, good rotational physics.